This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to the tent, everybody! <laughs> We're on week two! Last week, Barry Barry and Paul Hollywood tasked us with the enormous challenge of making an entire room filled with desserts. Our babies <laughs> today will be filled with brand new challenges that are just <laughs> waiting them inside the tent. This is the Great Barry Barry! Speak off! Anyhow, hi. Welcome to back to actually uh, Miles Edge Face to Investigations to Prosecutor's Path. We're examining a thing. room filled with chocolate. Like, this entire thing is made out of chocolate. What the heck? That's beautiful. These finger marks are... These are... Unidentified fingerprints. We don't know who they belong to. Since... No fingerprints were left behind. Finger marks without fingerprints. These might be related to the case. Gloves. Frame finger marks added to the court record. Hmm, it's a mystery. He was probably wearing gloves. Ugh. Detective Bad lacks dreams of romance! <laughs> and, and Ray has enough for everybody's. I don't think there are dreams or romance at the murder scene. Take a look at that leaf. You can make such a beautiful picture out of chocolate? As expected of Master Jeff! Is this really chocolate? It looks like an actual picture to me. Impressive, sir attorney! You noticed well. This picture of an angel is not a dessert, but rather the angel's recipe. The angel's recipe. The prize for the contest. Eh? <laughs> this picture isn't made of chocolate! Indeed. Within this chocolate frame lies a recipe book. Sir Master told everyone when he explained the rules of the contest to us in this room. Oh, it's not actually chocolate. So the contestants knew the recipe was here. How about it? This frame... Don't you think it's missing something? This must be what Detective Bad was asking Mr. Gustavi about earlier. This chocolate frame, there does seem to be a part that's missing. That's what's been bothering me as well. Eh? Oh, uh, what's missing? Ooh. Let me show Raymond the part of the chocolate frame that's missing. <laughs> Look closely at this part with the decorations. Can you see that one of them is missing? It's true! It's different from the other decorations! Hmm... This imperfect balance in the decorations is not like Sir Master. Upon closer examination, it seems this frame is not the only one with missing parts. We need to investigate further. <laughs> All the desserts in this room each have one part missing. Whoa! The, the candle holder and the salem tools are, are all damaged as well. So someone tampered with the crime scene. Also, they made someone made a sailor moon? Confused? <laughs> Just a moon, I think. Perhaps. Maybe Master vandalized the room himself to fool us. Master Jeff wouldn't do that to sort of thing to his desserts! Tram tampered desserts. I wonder if they are connected to the incident. Uh, uh, achoo! Are you all right, Raymond? Uh, this room is way too cold. The fountain patio wasn't very warm either. It's probably to keep the chocolate good. This, this room certainly is cold. Do you want to wear my coat? No, I'm fine. Because that's something that you promised to give me when I became a defense attorney. Heh, <laughs> that's right. Why is the temperature turned down so low? It's because the chocolate would harden. It's been turned down in order to maintain the chocolate's temperature. Why don't you try opening the panel cover on that wall? Panel cover? Whoa! There's a secret panel hidden there! This control panel is installed in all the rooms Sir Master prepared. So as not to detract from the dessert's presentation, Ooh. the cover was closed to conceal it. The ultimate, like, move would be to Just crank find, up the heat. No, to find in each room, everyone had different desserts and things. There was mm -hmm. that one dude who had, like, sorbet statues. If you just, like, crank up the heat. In and they here, melt. if you crank up the heat, they <laughs> melt. And then it's like, ah, I win the competition. <laughs> but you still have to beat Jeff Master at his own contest. <laughs> at his own contest. But this is, he made something out of chocolate. You just heat up the room. <laughs> So, huh, everyone but delicious desserts got melted. Wonder who did it. that? No, she also sabotages her own, just less so. Just less so. She accidentally puts salt in her 
<laughs> she someone, still loses. Someone switches the salt with the sugar. <laughs> do you think there's just mass sabotage going on? Like, it's oh, cutthroat. Yeah. It's cutthroat. It isn't this British, is British Bake, Bake Off. This is British Bake Off. <laughs> no, it isn't British Bake Off in here. It's it's Iron Chef Shop. <laughs> it's Cutthroat America. Kitchen. <laughs> cutthroat Kitchen America Edition. That That is the America Edition. Cutthroat Kitchen is very that much is a, an that, America That's a show? I didn't yes, know that was Cutthroat a show. Kitchen is a show. Oh, Starring I'm thinking Alton of Brown. Cake Boss. You know, when they're like... <laughs> cake Boss? <laughs> this, could, like, this is probably closer to Cake Boss, Where it's honestly. like, you have to make this cake, and then there's like, they're trying to transport the cake, and they drop, like, the cake, and it's just it's destroyed. This is, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm also thinking of Guy Fieri, where they add all the... <laughs> I'm Guy Fieri! Where they add all the different sound effects in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this is terrible. <laughs> what does the panel do? It allows you to change the temperature and the lighting in the room. Logic? No. In order to preserve any type of dessert, it can go down to about negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. So, someone froze to death? The room would be like a freezer. It's set to 59 degrees Fahrenheit! No wonder I thought it was cold. Ooh, I would have some purple feet and purple yeah. hands in there. <laughs> Detective Bad, I'm not allowed to change the temperature, am I? Kills him. Preserving the crime scene is the foundation of being a detective. B but I'm not a detective! A defense attorney can't recklessly damage a crime scene either. Indeed, sir assistant. Enduring hardship is also a part of training. He takes off his hat and he has... Um, a rat underneath it. Yes. <laughs> I would be so happy. Also, I just want to ask, how do those shirts work? Do you, like, undo the buttons and then it's just like, boom, <laughs> boom. chest. Want to see my Boy, chest tattoo. tear? Want to see my <laughs> tattoo? tattoo? I don't know, like, how that works or why it, it's made that it might way. be It might be, like, an apron that you can detach and there's more fabric under it. Oh! Yeah, that would make more sense than, boom. You or like, for blood You state. like that, ladies. <laughs> you like what you see? <laughs> In order to preserve chocolate to 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 64 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if it's 70 degrees, uh, other than M&M's, uh, This, this guy knows his stuff. He's mm. a pastry chef. <laughs> kind of. He does candy work. You Okay, candy is similar, though, with temperature. You have to work with candy super That's quickly true. before it hardens. Mm. The ideal temperature for it's chocolate. Like as expected of the dessert chef. No, it is but a trifle. This is basic knowledge that anyone should know if they're a dessert chef. Yeah. So what's the ideal temperature for candy and fresh cream? As long as you watch out for humidity and hot temperatures, candy shouldn't melt. For fresh cream, around 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. Yeah, uh... You need to watch out for humidity and hot temperatures for candy. I see. He's someone, worried about his lollipop. <laughs> someone just gets... Oh my gosh. Someone just, like, has a flamethrower. <laughs> they're like, you think the... Watch out for your candy, Delilah, or whatever. Delisha. Your, Delisha. We're talking about Delilah. <laughs> Watch out, Delilah. Samson's got a flamethrower. He's sick of you trying to cut his hair. Yep. That's how it should have gone. Detective Bad. He seemed a bit happy when they were talking about candy. Also, I was thinking of <laughs> We have barely played any of this game. We're almost at the 10 minute mark. It's fine. <laughs> Is candy one of his favorite things? I analyze things. I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. Uh, through, through stuff. Um. Oh, oh. Tyrell Bad, 42. Dane Gustavia, 36. What a man. Delicia Scones, that's what she looks like. <laughs> Delicia no. Scones is her last name? Scones? S scones. Maybe give Miss her- Miss Scones. Maybe give her like a Mary Berry voice. I don't- no. I literally can't help you with her voice. Because I don't- I didn't really have- I don't think she's an old lady. Voice. I think she's like- Pastry chef, chef said she's... to use any means to achieve I think she- I was about to say, I think she's the Franziska Von Karma of pastry world. I think she's 12 years old, got into this competition, she's like, I'm going to be everyone. <laughs> You're expecting Ashley from the KFC yeah, game simulator. But but that's different from Francisca. Mm. A dessert in the shape of a candle holder. Huh. It's titled Light of Life. It seems that one of these important lights isn't lit. Is it symbolic or no, it's that's just the way it is. The captain's log of the chocolate ship, which is also made out of chocolate. Dearest mother, <laughs> I'm, I'm riding this boat to America. <laughs> it's made out of chocolate. Sarah Phillips. Why does this this entire case seems like something that we would find at like Art Prize or whatever? <laughs> Just kind there of. There was like an art festival that we would go to, and it's there's lots of weird things where it's like this lady knit a room out of yarn. <laughs> this or guy like, made 
um, duct tape, was it? Like a duct tape painting? Yeah, someone made a duct tape painting. There's like actual- Wait, oh, yeah, there's the guy who like literally too. made balloons. We actually knew that guy. Yeah, Weird. we did know that guy. And then there's the monkey who's got the blues. And then there's the Grand Rapids monkey, yeah. Watch out for him, he's creepy. Seems its title is Journal of Regret. That's what that said. I thought it said Jesus in. Jesus said, I regret nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Running out of rum while drifting at the Red Sea has really made me red with regret, it reads. I don't know what kind of voyage it was, but it doesn't seem very regretful. Uh, lots of red, lots of blood. Oh, no, same thing. Okay, goodbye. It seems this control panel can change the temperature and the color of the lights in this room. The colors are red, yellow, green, blue, cyan, and white. It sure is a lot. This room's temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lights are set to white. It's because the works in this room are made of chocolate. By using white light, the chocolate can stand out. For Mr. Master, everything in this room is probably a piece of art. Alright, yeah. Oh, our partner's Bad! Bad's walking around behind us! That's so cool! Here you go. I forgot about that. I thought Raymond was gonna be our partner. This is an actual crime scene! I'm so excited! This isn't a game, Raymond. Please be more serious. Yes, sir! I'm taking a memo right now. Oh, what exactly are you writing? I'm copying down this dessert recipe over here. <laughs> Raymond, please be more serious. That's what I would do. Yes, sir. Still continues to copy recipe. What? Your way of investigating is too soft. An investigation is like a popsicle. Walk around the crime scene and investigate. Talk with the people involved. If you do that, Little by little, you'll lick it down to its core. Okay, great, sweet man. And the truth will be written on the end of the popsicle stick. <laughs> you mean like the terrible riddle. I pray that it doesn't say the truth was lost for all eternity. <laughs> That's the game over words for the game. That's, oh, it is? Uh, and the first one, I believe. That's funny. Elegant tableware and cookware are placed on the, cur uh, the counter. It looks like the same tea set Miss Hall was using earlier. Was Master Jeff drinking this black tea? On this tea set, only Jeff Master's fingerprints were found. Were his fingerprints found on any of the other cookware? The cookware was washed. Nobody's fingerprints remained. The cookware was washed. The blood was washed. Maybe the blood... Maybe... <laughs> maybe the guy was just... <laughs> Spray a luminol test on Gustavia's apron right now. <laughs> just all of him, actually. Maybe he was like, oh no, there's blood. <laughs> and then, like, did, like, you know when people do the dive to, like, protect the grenade from hitting oh, other yeah. people? But he just dives into blood. <laughs> I don't know. What the heck? I don't know. Or he might have been cooking with gloves on. Like a normal chef. It seems like the only thing here with his fingerprints is the tea set. Jeff's teapot added to the core right, because you know it's gonna be good. You know Made by important? Pierre Jorge. Uh, talk to him. It appears to be a display of sailing equipment. There's also the possibility that one of these is the murder weapon. No, it looks like the, these pieces were all made out of chocolate. You can't beat someone to death with these. <laughs> Misleading. At any rate, they all have such good workmanship that they look just like the real thing. It really speaks about the level of skill Mr. Master has in his craft. How do you even do that? That's insane. Uh, we already talked to the guards. Pierce. Oh. Same thing? Okay. Leave? Master used these gloves while making his desserts. They hid his fingerprints. Certainly, it's possible that they were used for that purpose. But wouldn't you agree that finding cooking gloves in the kitchen is perfectly natural? Doubt everything. That's my job. That's true. Oh, we do logic. We do have logic, yeah. He's a smart guy. This is all chocolate! Like, how? I, I truly don't even know how. I would like that, please. <laughs> the, now you know what you want for your birthday. <laughs> nope! I, nope. I don't know what I want for my birthday. You want us to be out of quarantine, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys can tell. <laughs> this took place during the COVID-19 uh... outbreak. <laughs> so this is where the body was discovered? Yeah. The body has been removed, but otherwise, the crime scene has remained untouched. There's something white in the ship. Look at 
that. We'll examine that last. How about it? What? To build such a large ship out of chocolate is magnificent. As expected, Master Jeff, I want to try eating it. Although I have no idea where to start eating it from. Anywhere should be fine, but if you start eating the crime scene, I'll make you leave. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Don't glare at me like that! Can't you tell it was a joke? I would start eating the crime scene. I'd like Raymond to just be a little mo bit calmer. This is a new meaning to cover up the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. Eat the murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> It seems that the body was discovered inside this chocolate treasure chest. Oh man, what if the murder weapon was like a giant block of chocolate that was frozen? Slam, blunt force trauma to the head, and then they just let it melt. It's always blunt force trauma to the head. No, it wasn't. In the first case, someone was shot, and in the second case, they were stabbed in the neck. This game is different. I'm talking about Investigations 1. First guy was shot. Second guy fell to his death. Third guy was shot. Fourth guy was shot and stabbed. Fifth guy was stabbed and then I okay, think left on it. Okay, fine. Edgeworth does it a little different. <laughs> the person who Maybe discovered it was Miss Hall. Mm -hmm. Do we need another flashback? This kind of just Monsieur happened. Monsieur Master, are you in here? <laughs> Eek! <laughs> she heard the sound of something breaking inside this room something and came breaking. in. Chocolate breaking. I would like a little more information about this. I'd like to break this chocolate brick over your head. <laughs> like a jujitsu thing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? What's this? Something has been dropped inside the treasure chest. Hmm. This is... Oh, this is the little white thing you were talking about. Mm -hmm. It seems to be some kind of a seal with a design and H initials carved into it. Q. If it's a stamp, it would be PH. <laughs> it would make a PH when you stamp it. Looks like a signet crest. Was it the victim's? Oh, maybe it's not a... Never mind. Uh, it, maybe it is HQ. I don't know if it's the victims, but we should take it for now. Signet crest added to the card. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. It's just a crest. I don't remember what that button is. What's there over here? Red rum. Red rum. The voyage of the good ship Red Rum is written here. It sailed seven seas and in the end finally found a huge treasure modeled after the glory of an ancient adventurer it's written here so he failed six times what an unlucky captain no matter how many times he went on a fool's errand in the end he reached the truth it's just like the detective spirit did detectives even exist during the ancient times this chocolate must be so stale now. <laughs> he, or he made it, like, right recently. It seems the stand supporting the ship has been broken. That might be on purpose. The ship tipped over and broke the treasure chest, didn't it? Ah! M maybe! Could the victim have been crushed by the ship and killed? If that were the case, this would have been an accidental death. You two aren't serious about that, right? Well... We were only discussing one of the possibilities. I was being pretty serious, though. Detective Bad, I would like you to tell me about the state of the victim. If you mean a photo of the body, here, look at it, all you like. Seems the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. Blunt Your favorite. Blunt trauma to head. Okay, but I do want to look at this photo very carefully. Oh, I thought that was the... I thought that was a mouth. Where? Where the... <laughs> Is that some... That one's like Ubi. <laughs> with the... With, with the eye. Yeah. <laughs> what the... How did you think that was a mouth? Here's why. When they had the zoomed in thing of just the blood, it looked like... It was a shadow and then partially filled... I don't know. I have a bad... What? Eye. I have bad eyes, Artie. We've okay. established this. You're not wearing your contacts? I'm wearing my contacts. Then your eyes shouldn't be bad. No, my contacts just suck. I need to get them they done. Get new. Oh, you I can't. Need... It's quarantine! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Has, I've been has the murder weapon been found? You should try asking the prosecutor in charge later. Is it Vanfred Von Varma? It's Vanfred Von Varma. Van Vanfred Von Varma. <laughs> it seems he doesn't intend to tell me, frankly. Well, that means Francisco must be like five. No, Francisco would be like... Three. 
No, she wait, hang on. This was 18 years ago. Francisca's 19 now. She'd be one year old. Man, Von Conver's like I'm, I'm a busy dad. I'm a busy dad. I don't have time for children. <laughs> Forge <Okay>. evidence. <laughs> it's fine. So, may I borrow this photograph? Sure. It's not a photo that was taken by the police. Miss Hall took a photo of the body with an instant camera when she discovered it. Hey, nice going. <laughs> An instant camera? Is it a- Is that like a yeah. disposable camera? An instant camera is a camera that can develop its film right after taking a picture. It's not eh. a Polaroid? Such a convenient camera exists because this was 18 years ago. Anyway, let's go over the state of the crime scene a bit. This photo, upon closer examination, contradicts the state of the crime scene. Right. I'll have to deduce the contradiction to resolve this matter. Crime oh, scene notes added to the court There record. is a clock over the body that is no longer there. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Yeah. This part is a contradictory. It contradicts this piece of evidence. This ship is confectionary. How sweet. Otherwise, we should we could board the ship and sail down the chocolate river. What an unpleasant dismissal. I thought that was what it was. Let's calm down and inspect the crime scene. Ugh, it looks like there was something here that wasn't here before. Like feeding the beast. Wait, did I literally just present on slightly the wrong part? I bet I did. Yeah, my cursor was literally just slightly off. Wow. Are you sure the only thing the police removed from the crime scene was the body? Uh... They also took away the piece of cloth the body was wrapped in. In that case, a major contradiction has been created at the crime scene. Contradiction. Oh, they ate away the chocolate! Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. Someone murdered them, they were like, Oh god, gotta get rid of the evidence. <laughs> you ate someone else's blood? Ew. <laughs> Makes the chocolate taste better. I don't know. Ew. I don't think that's. Good. I'll check with forensics. Man, I really like staring at the waterfall. No, that's deep guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what happened? Comparing the photo and the crime scene, something struck me out as being out of place. In the photo, the chocolate underneath the body remained intact inside the treasure chest. However, in the actual crime scene, it's missing. The chocolate with the blood stain has, been complete, has completely vanished. Yes. Did the police remove it, or was this the work of the criminal? According to forensics, no one has cleaned up any blood stains. I see. Well, that would mean someone erased the blood stain. Who knows? Chef crime scene threw his updated. body on the blood. Soaked, <laughs> soaked up the blood. And gonna then was like, soak up the blood. blood. And then ate it. <laughs> soaked up the blood and then threw the chocolate in the garbage. <laughs> that won't be found. <laughs> but it's no longer covered in blood. You can find traces, though. He broke it into a million pieces and flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> I guess he does have to use logic. Yeah, of course. Broken sound, breaking stand. Wrong, wrong words. <laughs> Breaking stand. <laughs> broken sound? Due to the broken stand, the ship lost its balance. It would seem Miss Hall entered the room upon hearing the ship collapse. Yeah, when Miss Hall entered the room, the ship had already fallen over. At any rate, I wonder why the stand broke. Maybe there was something wrong with the ship's balance in the first place. Is that really true? Why the stand broke? Beaten to death. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was beaten to death. <laughs> so we may have gone a little overboard with that. Get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add to that the fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone ransacked this room. And the one who did it could be the true culprit. 
That I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship stand got broken when the room was ransacked. Yeah, keep in mind, not only does the UFD have to make all of that out of chocolate and make it look like a ship, it also has to be structurally sound. That's insane. Like, I don't think that would even be possible in real life. And when, Physics. And when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. It is why the guy in British Bake Off that was the contractor or whatever. The, build, the, the, the builder? Build, he didn't win, but he, he didn't win, but he did super well yeah. because everything I was I love super Richard. He was sound. so great. One of my favorites. I expect that the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. Investigation complete. Put a band-aid on the part where I slapped myself. Oh yeah, this is Gregory Edgeworth's theme. It seems our investigation of this room is just about over. Crime scene notes updated yet again. I like this music. This should make it clear. Jeff Master is the culprit. Why? All the rooms in this mansion were locked from the inside. And... The only way to open them from the outside was to use this key to the mansion. Or, oh, they could pull a Mario Party 8. Shy Guys Perplex Express. You can get into Kamek the kitchen. appeared and swapped the rooms. No. <laughs> you can go through the vent. Oh, the vent in the kitchen, yeah. And then get into the kitchen. That's how it worked. <laughs> no, you... not Kamek. Mr. <laughs> Magic Dow! Oh, gee! Magic oh, Man! <laughs> Do you know who had the key? Master was the only one with the key. There were no spare keys. Can you say it like Lord of the Rings? Master. Master. The the key. De <laughs> Detective Brandon has to go to the <laughs> Mansion key added. That's what I keep thinking when they say Master Jeff. By using the mansion key, Master could enter all of the contestants' rooms. Of course, the key could also lock his room from the outside. However, Mr. Master's room is currently unlocked. Yeah. That's why I suspect Master is the culprit. I'd like to hear your reasoning in more detail. We- I don't care. I wanna meet... Delia. Delisha. Why I suspect Deli. Jeff Master. I wanna meet the Deli. <laughs> I wanna meet the Deli. <laughs> if the body had been found in a locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. Contrary to his expectations, the body was discovered by Miss Hall. That's my reason for suspecting Master. Got that, Ace Attorney? <laughs> That's the name of the game! Yeah! So you also think it was Mr. Master himself who vandalized this room? Yeah. You defense attorneys believe that justice lies in trusting your clients, but I'm a detective. If I believed every poor sap story, I'd let the suspicious ones get away. I understand your reasoning thoroughly. However, I'd like to hear my I'd like you to hear my thoughts on the subject now. Hmm. Fine. Detective Bad believes that he is right, but I won't give up so easily. I can't accept his reasoning. I'll have to show him evidence that contradicts it. Rebuttal. Oh yeah. Oh. I heard it. <laughs> Isn't it a little premature to suspect Mr. Master on those grounds alone? It's a little premature. For you to be objecting. Just wait until I'm done. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. Oh, hold it! Hold okay. it! Now I hear it. He left it unlocked. If the door had been locked, Master would be the only one who could commit the crime. I like the voice they gave Gregory. Because again, completely fan done. Yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. Well, maybe the door just happened to be unlocked. No K, either. Then, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Maybe. I don't know as much to do, but it's interesting. Maybe the body just happened to be lying out in the open waiting to be discovered. This is Tibble brought out the magic <laughs> dust. Runt, do you think you can become a good detective with logic like that? Uh, but, but I don't want to be a detective. I want to be a defense attorney. These killers don't run. I hope he isn't trying to steal my apprentice. Master had a reason 
to leave the door unlocked. And to ensure the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Why would he do that? Oh. <laughs> you believe the broken lid was Mr. Master's doing? Yes. If he hadn't done that, the body wouldn't have been found. It doesn't seem likely that he would break his own work while he was judging the contest. He gets so mad that his work isn't good enough that he just is like, <laughs> it's like Dude, you made like a photorealistic pirate ship out of chocolate and it's structurally stable. Okay, but Artie- the Should people, be better! I was about to say, the people who make those kinds of things though are like super critical of their work. That's how they're so good. Fair enough. <laughs> That's right, Master Jeff would never waste a good dessert. On piece of cake, he even eats them while dancing. <laughs> The TV show is irrelevant here. Detective Bad, you know about Piece of Cake. It's my favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it with my three-year-old niece every day. Oh man, while the poor, e while eating while poor three-year-old niece that has uh, <laughs> Detective, Detective Bad, Bad as an uncle. <laughs> is he in jail or did he just get like killed? Uh, he's in jail for being one of the members of the Yadagorasu. Okay, I didn't know if it was like he was a member of the Yadagorasu or he gets got the killed. death penalty. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, what? Von Karma got the death penalty. He killed a man! <laughs> so did the Yadagorasu! Callisto, you did. Oh, yeah. And did she was a member. Death penalty? I would assume so. Especially since she's also part of a smuggling ring and a super spy. Did Matt On Guard get the death penalty? I don't think so. Maybe he either did that or he got life in Unless prison. Unless he goes free. Congratulations! Huh. I didn't even know of it. What? This is a surprise. So, so do you sing the song too? <laughs> That's irrelevant. <laughs> anyway, the one who broke the lid on the treasure chest was master. I the the breakdown sequence of whoever like not dies, whoever gets discovered as the crime, it better end with the song. I got convicted of the murder. It's like the Bugs Bunny cartoon. <laughs> Or, like, or the Mickey Mouse really cartoon awesome. with, the, with the whale coming out of the oh, water. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it. Enough about talking whales. The judging began in Mr. Gustavia's room, right? Yeah. I, too, was looking forward to seeing his candy craft. Mm -hmm. If you would like, I can put on a display of my candy craft for you right now. It looks like pizza dough. He needs to color it. What do you think it represents, sir, detective? Um, is that supposed to be a police dog? It looked like a capybara to me. Oh, Tim Cast IRL is live. Cool. I can't watch that right now. But we can just have him live. <laughs> going no. while, while we're recording. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a wolf. Mm, a lone wolf. Not bad. What would my candy form be? I'm kind of curious myself. <laughs> he's a little, like, he's a little more, like, fun than Miles Edgeworth. Oh, Miles Edgeworth, that's because he grew up with Von Karma, basically, as a he parent. Sh he should have watched Piece of Cake. <laughs> he should have watched Piece of Cake growing up. Moving on. Even I would watch Piece of Cake. You totally would. That would be your show as a kid. Totally. Piece of Cake would have been, like... They, they make desserts while singing and dancing. I was about to say, it would have been, like, like, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And <laughs> it's a surprise tool that will help me later. Yeah. <laughs> That would have been created an impression. I've seen so many memes with that, it's really yeah. bad. <laughs> Do you know the time of the murder? We're still waiting on the autopsy report. Without the autopsy report, how could you have arrested Mr. Master? We don't know the time of death, but we do know when the body was discovered. It was discovered while Master was judging Dane Gustavia's room. I believe he let the body be discovered to create an alibi. But that alone is not enough to arrest Mr. Master, right? Who knows? That's all I intend to say. Detective Bad, are you hiding something? Detective Bad seems adamant that Mr. Master is the culprit. I don't think Master Jeff would have broken his own creations! But why was the treasure chest broken then? Hmm. Just think back to the situation in which the body was found. In doing so, we should be able to see the contradiction in Bad's reasoning. I see a lot. This is the problem. I often see like a lot of contradictions. I'm like, which one is the one they want me to see, though? Right. Master would have been prime suspect. He did that. Uh, he, he broke the lid on the treasure chest. Did he, though? 
because it's like... Uh, victim's body was found in the treasure chest. Uh, the cause of death was seems to be a hard blow to the head by a blown object. The treasure chest lid so, was closed. Yep, it was closed before the ship's fall. And then oh, the ship's oh, fall. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I think it's that. Objection. Objection. Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard a sound. I think it is likely that this was the sound of the chocolate ship falling over. Why does that look like Gumshoe's coat if Gumshoe... Washed it. Washed well, it. Gumshoe's coat is, like, uh, tan when it's uh, when it's washed. Because we saw that in the Lies first Mia screen. case. How, how... <laughs> Who would be worse to sit next to on an airplane? Detective Gumshoe or Al from Toy Al. Story 2? You think... He, he skipped the shower and he just... Oh, yeah. Do you think Detective Gumshoe showers? That coat fair, is fair green. Enough. He probably but smells Al's just... rancid. Also, they're both fat. <laughs> that was a weird question. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> yeah, thinking of... That's what you would think just by looking at the two of them. <laughs> they are smelly. <laughs> you said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But this photo shows that the ship's fall caused the lid to break. If the lid broke just before Miss Hall found the body, then Mr. Master, who was in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. I never said that Master broke the lid, direc the lid directly. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's sweating, he's sweating. Fine. <laughs> the ship was set up to fall down during the judging. I believe he tampered with the stand. Do you have proof he tampered with it? No. But the investigation isn't completely over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah. There were some left on the door. But... The victim, Dover, and Master were also among the fingerprints left behind. Before we made our desserts, we all gathered here to have the judging explained to us. Perhaps that was when we left those fingerprints. But you didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room? What? Someone tampered with the chocolate in this room. So perhaps there are other fingerprints on it apart from Mr. Masters. <laughs> no matter what we find, it won't clear Master of Suspicion. Why can't they just call him Jeff? It sounds weird. Labby, hurry up and dust this chocolate for fingerprints. Roger that, sir! <laughs> Detective Bad, we found another person's fingerprints on all the chocolates in the room. Whose fingerprints? They belong to a pastry chef by the name of Delisha. Oh, thank God. Good work. Return to the investigation. Yes, sir! Cool, Delisha. It would seem that there are other suspicious people besides Mr. Master after all. <laughs> I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that. I'm not stopping my investigation. We'll just go and listen to what this Delisha has to say. Delisha, Gustavia told us about her not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? Mr. Edgeworth, this Delisha lady sounds mighty suspicious to me. Hmm. It seems that it will be necessary for us to speak with her directly as well. Detective Bad, would you allow us to accompany you? I'm not obligated to do that. What? But you were the one who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine, have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bad, thank you. He has the hair of a defense attorney. Yes, he does. All <laughs> back, like Payne. Actually, Payne's a prosecutor. <laughs> Detective Bad, sir? Are you sure about that? Right now, the prosecutor is in the room. Doesn't matter. Him and I don't see eye to eye. Him? Who's the prosecutor in charge of this case anyway? Manfred Von Karma. I've always wanted to- Wow! Von Karma's in charge! That guy hasn't lost a case in 25 years! That's cause he's something else. Manfred Von Karma, the living legend of the prosecutor's office. If the rumors of his courtroom performance are to be believed, he's a man who would do anything for a guilty verdict. 
No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. This is what to I'm wondering. To be continued. Would we actually find the guilty party in this and then just not Get them? be successful? I wonder. Well, because we have heard at the beginning of the case that Master was found guilty. Sure. There's nothing wrong Unless, with Unless, well, they said the defendant was found guilty, and right now it seems like Master's the defendant. Mm -hmm. It might be like, oh no, he's cleared, then there's a new defendant. Yeah. When they maybe. actually go to court. So yeah, we'll that's it for that. this episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We'll be doing the technical challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's a technical challenge against Manfred von Karma. <laughs> I, I will make the best pastry. <laughs> I will make... He, Manfred von Karma strikes me as like a bread man. He would do very well I will bread. make the best apricot Quran the world has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.